Hey guys, this is Nightmare 3464. I'm going to continue reading Ben's love story, chapter 7. I hope you guys enjoy. Big time skip two months. Carline's point of view. It's been two months me and Ben have been together. I was really happy. Better than my how my old life used to be. No more bullies. No more dealing with my drunk parents or abusive sister. Sometimes I wonder if they noticed that I was gone. If they, if they did, I hardly doubt they were... They missed me. The only thing, the only thing inside of my life was the rake. Ever since the running with, with Jane, he's been trying to kidnap me or kill Ben to keep him away from me. Sometimes Ben will come home with cuts on his body, nothing too serious, but I guess I can say I was still worried all the time, and rake didn't show any signs of giving up anytime soon. But the rake was trying to kill Ben wasn't the only thing that was worried me. I've been getting sick. And feeling really hungry lately. I thought it was the flu at first, but the flu doesn't make you hungry. I was wondering if Slendy could, might know what's wrong with me. I was sitting outside, waiting for him to come. He showed up a nowhere a few feet in front of me, making me jump a little. Hello, Coraline, he said. Hi, Slender. I replied, so you haven't been feeling well recently? I, he asked. I nod. He grabbed my arm and let and let go. Oh boy, he said, not not sounding too happy. What? I asked. Um, you're pregnant. Ben's point of view. I punched Rick as hard as I could, sending him flying a few feet away from me. Give up already, I said. He hissed at me and tried to cut me. I kicked him in the face, and I thought Seed Eater was stubborn. I walked away with a small limp. But there was then that. I, I'm fine. Finally reaching the house, it was pitch black outside, so I went, walked inside to, upstairs to the room to see Coraline sitting on the bed. She doesn't look happy. Coraline, are you okay? I asked, sitting next to her. Yeah, I'm fine. It's just, just what? Ben, I'm pregnant. My eyes widened when, as she looked towards the ground. I'm gonna be a dad! I screamed in my head. I pulled her into my lap and kissed her cheek. You're not mad? She asked. Why would I be? That's great! Why? Nothing is just... I don't think I'm ready to be a mom. She sounded like she was about to cry. I held her tightly. It's okay. You'll be a great mom. I kissed her cheek and rubbed her stomach. Hmm... If your stomach gets bigger, does that mean your breast will too? I asked. She elbowed me in a playful way. Ben, you're such a pervert. She laughed.